so hello everyone uh, welcome to coding wall today um, i will show you how to set up an angular application and uh, what are the softwares required to run an angular application and by the way i will show how to uh, create an uh, angular application even in your uh, laptop so uh, starting from the um, editor uh, we start with an uh, visual studio code I recommend uh, Visual Studio Code. We can allow, also use uh, Sublime Text, but uh, uh, there are a number of users with uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, so uh, I recommend Visual Studio Code more because we have uh, extensions and everything uh, and uh, command prompt uh, inside the Visual Studio Code editor. So next we will go for uh, to install Node uh because uh, it uh, it will compile uh, compile into js file so uh, we need uh, we need node and npm uh, next we need to install uh, uh, angular cli and after that we will create an angular application and after that we will uh, install git also for the for the purposes like uh, if you want to store it in a uh, repository so uh, Today I will show you how to install an uh, Angular application and what are the software required to run an uh, Angular application. Uh, first of all, we start with uh, uh, VS Code, Visual Studio Code. Okay, we got in the first version itself. So uh, I'm clicking on this. So in the website you need to uh, go for this uh, it will automatically take the 32 bit or uh, 64 bit if needed so for mac users you can click on this and if you click on this it will automatically uh, redirected and uh, downloaded uh, uh, the link will be automatically downloaded so i'm cancelling this because i already have that um, after installing you have a couple of uh, agreements to be uh, checked after uh, installing the application if you double click on the application it would be open like this and uh, from here we can add the file or folder which we want and like this we will talk about it later um, before we set up the uh, complete setup process um, secondly uh, we will install the node node package manager uh, node okay so right clicking on this go to the node manager okay uh, coming to this we need to install the this version uh, compared to the current version this is a standard version uh, stable version oh, what do you mean what do you mean um, so uh, if i click on this uh, the application will be uh, the software will be installed automatically it will take the anyway 64 bit or uh, 32 bit according to our according to your uh, um, os uh, okay uh, so on clicking on this it will be automatically downloaded so even i'm i'm cancel this also uh, because i already have this application i um, mean this software uh, the reason why we use node because uh, it will compiles uh, it will compile the code into uh, js so that uh, we can deploy them uh, later uh, well in the um, production process or something um reason i um, most of the angular application or libraries github uh, repositories whatever it may be it will be depending upon the npm packages like uh, we need to uh, install npm also in later uh, so coming to the angular uh, coming to the third third software which we need is angular cli so um there you can go to the uh, web page and you can uh, just copy the npm npm and all or you can directly type uh, npm install hyphen g hyphen g is uh, used to install globally in your application you need to use this because uh, you are using entire entire angular application uh, in a number of folders i mean a number of uh, partitions which you want it is better to use uh, as a global and at the rate threat angle slash cli so um one more thing i want to mention is if you want to if you want to use 
um, like the current version is um, 11 um, which we are not using right now uh, even I am using uh, angular version 10 uh, right now in my current applications which I am developing right now but if you want to install the previous versions like uh, 6, 4, 2 or uh, something uh, you just need to enter at the rate if it is 5 you need to enter 5, 6 or you want to give a particular one particular one 6.7 like that you can give like this also so uh, I already have this um, software inside my, uh, in my computer so uh, there is no need of uh, um, so uh, like this you can uh, get and one more thing you need to install git also git repository uh, if you need it I mean if you are working with a git repository you need to uh, install git also you just need to use this command uh, npm install or npm uh, install git like that uh, the application will be get installed so coming to the application uh, first we will create with an uh, uh, first angular application if you click here and uh, if you type cmd the cmd will open with the this folder path okay so let we will start with uh, the command for to install uh, to create a new angular application is uh, ng new and application name it's i'm, I'm creating with my app the application will ask for uh, uh, two to three um, uh, setup uh, required uh, SR nodes to be included in your application or not like routing or uh, uh, styling purpose uh, styling related uh, things see uh, it is asking for a uh, strict IO you can uh, enter yes and later it is asking for the routing purpose and you need to use uh, routing in your application so it is and later a uh, few of them will use uh, uh, SAS or uh, CSS or something so basically I am using CSS it will be easy for me but uh, I recommend for uh, uh, SAS in future if you are using a large scale applications it is better to use that um, so it may take little longer to install Uh, by the way uh, if you are uh, like um, see if you want to open the path from right here if you click CMD and if you type C O T E code dot then Visual Studio code will be open this is a shortcut shortcut for uh, visual studio code from opening from the whichever the path you have selected so pardon me i have uh, my laptop is little slow this is the command prompt see here uh, by opening from my path uh, see uh, I have got my application my app my app right here and uh, you can check you are in uh, you are in the angular app folder if you enter CD and the, and the tab here you can check my application so once we will check with the application whether it was uh, installed or not still it is installing uh, so it may take a little more time to install uh, so I'll skip the video for uh, 10 seconds
so uh, then P including npm it was installed so either we can uh, run from here by entering So uh, the application got run after a uh, lot of time. Uh, so uh, you're gonna enter localhost 4200. If you enter localhost 4200, it will be um, uh, the page will be looking like this. You can remove everything. Um, I will show the, uh, everything in the next video. So please stay tuned. How to uh, how to rem uh, create a component and how to create a routing and i will show uh, custom um, custom tab